back to our YouTube channel Verma's Eureka Experts. Through our channel, we discuss some grammar topics. Today, we discuss what is a direct object and what is an indirect object. See, a direct object that always follows a transitive verb. Without an object, without a direct object, the meaning of that verb is incomplete. Let us see some examples here. Jane kicked the ball, right? Mother baked a chocolate cake, right? Adam helps me. See, Jane kicked the ball. Mother baked a chocolate cake. Adam helps me. The ball or a chocolate cake or me, these are direct objects. These are direct objects. They always follow the verb, a transitive verb. They always follow the transitive verb. Right? The direct object may be a noun. Right? A noun phrase. Right? Or a pronoun. Right? A direct object may be a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun. What is a noun phrase? A group of words that act as a noun. It's called a noun phrase. Right? So, the direct object may be a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun. In other words, you can say, right? The effect of the fact, action. If the effect of action falls on something or some person, that is a direct object. Right? Whatever that receives the action of a transitive verb, whatever that receives the action of a transitive verb, that is an object. The object can be, I said, I repeat, again, a noun or a noun phrase or a pronoun. Right? How do you identify whether it is a direct object or indirect object? Just question the verb. Just question the verb with what and whom you will find the direct object question the verb with what and whom right you find what is the direct object in the sentence let, let us see so what is kate what is kate right the ball what is kate the ball is kate so the ball is the direct object right what is baked a chocolate cake. A chocolate cake is a direct object. Right? Can we ask what is me? What is helped? No. Who is helped? Right? You can ask whom or who. Right? Whom or who? Who is helped? Me. So me is a direct object. Right? A noun or a pronoun or a noun phrase that receives the action of a transitive verb is a direct object. That receives the action of a transitive verb is a direct object. We also uh, understood how to identify them in a sentence. Asking the question, questioning the verb with what, who or whom, we can easily know what is a direct object in the sentence. Question the verb. What is kit? The answer. The ball. So the ball is the direct object. Right? Another words you can say. If the effect of the action. Right? The effect of the action falls on the object. Right? Falls on a person or a thing. Whatever receives the action. That is an object. That is a direct object. It receives the action directly. There is a meaning in the word. Direct. Right? So that is a direct object. So without the direct object, without the direct object, the meaning of a transitive verb is incomplete. The meaning of a transitive verb is incomplete. See here, if you remove or delete the objects, the direct objects, the direct object, the meaning of these sentences is incomplete see jane kicked what did jane kick right mother baked what did mother make bake right adam helps adam helps whom right the meaning of all these sentences 
incomplete uh, without a direct object so the transitive verb always needs a direct object right let us see let us see a few more sentences right what is an indirect object and how do you identify an indirect object right see here indirect object is right is something that gets the direct object that's it it is the recipient of the direct object right it receives the direct object right it gets or receives the direct object for example you see ravi gave me the pen ravi gave me the pen what did mr ravi give the pen so the pen is a direct object the pen is a direct object then how do you identify indirect object or do you identify indirect object see asking the verb questioning the verb with to what or for what right or for whom we can get indirect object questioning the verb for what or whom or to what right we can get the indirect object see here to whom did ravi give to me to whom did ravi give to me right so me is indirect object me is indirect object you question the verb with to what for whom for what what of the answer we get that is indirect object see indirect object always receives the direct object what did it receive the pen right in a, you can write the same sentence in a different way in another way right ravi gave the pen to me ravi gave the pen to me so here to a preposition is the to me is a, a right a pronoun to me an object right so to me is an indirect object it is very clear here to whom did ravi give to me to whom did ravi give to me so it is an indirect object it is very clear right another sentence mother baked a chocolate cake we discussed mother baked me a chocolate cake let us see how do you identify an indirect object in this sentence mother baked me a chocolate cake see mother baked me a chocolate cake what did mother make bake right mother baked a chocolate cake so a chocolate cake is a direct object for whom did the mother make a chocolate cake for me so the me is an indirect object always question the verb right to identify an indirect object for whom it is or for what it is to what it is so we what the answer we get that is an indirect object you can also write the sentence in another way right mother baked a chocolate cake for me for me is an indirect object right and what did mother may bake a chocolate cake so a chocolate cake is a direct object and me is an indirect object right so a direct object always follows the transitive verb without uh, the direct object the meaning of a transitive verb is incomplete right so what did you understand here what is a direct object and what is an indirect object direct object that receives the action of the transitive verb right what is an indirect object the indirect object that receives a direct object or that gets a direct object is 
indirect object see let us see here direct object may not be always a thing may not be always a thing it may be sometimes a person another important thing is without a direct object indirect object doesn't exist in the sentence there will be indirect object without a direct object thank you all for watching the video please continue watching and support me thank you all